we're asked to sketch the graph of f of x equals 3 raised to the x power. I'm going to proceed by plotting some points and creating a table of values. Just going to pick some x values that include you know, a lot of the possibilities, right? I want some negative things, I want to include 0, and I want some positive things. All right, so I get 3 raised to the minus second power, and I remember that that minus second power says that 3 really wants to be in the denominator as a 3 squared. So that's going to be 1 ninth. 3 raised to the minus first power, really a 1 third. 3 to the 0 power is 1. 3 to the first power is 3, and 3 to the second power is 9. So now I'll just plot these points, and then we'll talk maybe about some other x values so we really understand what's going on. All right, so at minus 2, I'm very low at positive 1 ninth. At minus 1, I'm at 1 third, just a little higher. That probably needs to be a little lower, but it's hard to sketch that in there. At 0, I'm at 1. At 1, I'm at 1, 2, 3. And at 2, I'm at 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And so my graph, growing very steeply on this side, and then approaching, or apparently approaching the x-axis on this side. So if I think about putting in smaller and smaller values of x, things further and further to the left, on the x-axis, like 3 to the minus third. Well, that would be 1 over 3 to the third, 1 27th, right? As I keep raising the bottom of the fraction to larger and larger power, the fraction is going to keep decreasing. But I'll always have a positive number over a positive number, so it's always on top of the x-axis, making the x-axis a horizontal asymptote. Unlike rational functions and exponential functions, horizontal asymptote only talks about one side of it. The left-hand side is getting closer to that horizontal asymptote. Okay, on the right-hand side, I just get, keep getting larger and larger quantities. 3, 9, 27, 81 by the time I get to 4, 243 after that. This is what we call exponential growth. It grows very steeply, very fast. So, this is the shape I always get when I graph a y equals b raised to the x power if b is larger than 1. I get exponential growth. In our next video, we're going to see what happens when the base is between 0 and 1. And after that, we're going to transform our graphs and shift them around. And when I do that, I always want to pay attention to where that horizontal asymptote goes.